Hi, I'm Beth Malone, and I'm playing Big Al in Fun Home, the musical. The book Fun Home speaks to something that is really um, specific and universal at the same time. It looms very large in my life, this book and uh, this person, Alison Bechtel. Alison is a, a graphic novelist and a cartoonist, and she wrote Dykes to Watch Out for for 20 years. She was um, the most notorious lesbian cartoonist in the, I would say, world, probably. And um, she has an enormous cult following. I got a call from my agent saying, put yourself on tape for this reading at the public. And then um, I started researching it. and. Uh, at that point, I was like, oh, Alison Bechtel, yeah, Dykes to watch out for. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh, this panel I had on my wall in my bargain basement apartment at UNC, University of Northern Colorado, as an undergrad. It's the single panel cartoon of this naked woman with a coffee pot all disheveled in the morning. And then I was like, oh my God, that's, that's Alison Bechtel. And, that, and uh, then she sent me a signed copy of it last year, and I was like, my life is just crazy right now. <laughs> We've been to this house, that's the craziest thing. Now when I see pictures of the house, I'm like, that's Allison's bedroom right there. And that's his graveyard. And we stood around there, we all stood there. And I said, oh, I think this, these trees must have been like an artistic embellishment. And she goes, no, they were there, they chopped them down. She goes, I never, I, I tell the truth. She's very into, um, you know, just presenting the facts, ma'am, and letting you sort of deal with it. She's relentlessly honest. A big part of the identity of this character is in the gender presentation of, of a butch. Her look for me, as I've gotten to know her and I've gotten to research the, the material more, is still all about Bruce. To me, his whole identity was about masking and her whole identity is about stripping away. What function was served by the scrolls, tassels, and bric-a-brac that infested our house? If anything, they obscured function. They were embellishments in the worst sense. They were lies. To play the role is to commit to the look. I get treated differently in the world. It's, it's been an interesting sociological experiment to be this person in the world. Like, I, I was harassed as I rode by on my bike, and this guy was like, dyke! You know, I'm like, oh, what an amazing grasp of the obvious you have, sir. As an actor, you're, you're a chameleon, you know, and because I'm a gay actor and I'm in a, and a woman also, I must be able to uh, be an ingenue or a leading lady, or I have no career. I've been able to sort of uh, pass in my life. You know, it's been one of those things where it's like, you know, yes, I have, I have a wife and I have a long-term, you know, same-sex relationship, but uh, I'm not a person who, who, you know, hasn't enjoyed playing it both ways, like going, oh, I'm gonna play this straight girl now and get lifted up by this big strapping man and he's gonna kiss me and the whole audience is gonna go, oh, you know, that's what I do for a living. I've been damn lucky to be born genetically sort of, um, you know, petite and, and able to put on eyelashes and some lipstick and just like transform into this drag queen. And oftentimes when I'm playing a really girly girl, I just, channel a drag queen and I'm like <laughs> and I'm like oh wow this is fucking awesome so yeah. it's been interesting to just sort of own my own like sexual identity right now and be like yeah this is me so deal with it you know it's been fun it's been um, it's sort of empowering and sort of terrifying and you know you know coming out and becoming the person that you're gonna be in your life is a lifelong process, and I really feel like that's what the show is about also. When I came out, my dad didn't speak to me for seven years. And, um, you know, in that time, I put myself through undergrad and grad school and, you know, got married and bought my first house. And, you know, it was a very long seven years. The fact that this show exists at all is absolutely miraculous that it exists in my lifetime 
is an enormous gift that I'm in it and not just watching it from the audience is absolutely the most meaningful thing that probably will happen to me in my career and possibly my life. You know, besides meeting my partner and building a life together, building this show with these people has been the journey of a lifetime. Maps show you what is simple and true. Try later.